Hello everyone, welcome back to Elite Dangerous. This is going to be the fourth video, I think. Yes, fourth video of exploration. And there's fireworks going off outside. It is night on the 30th of December. And I'm just having fun exploring. Eventually we will get to see our VY Canis Majoris somewhere over here, I think. And we started in Akinar, which is all the way over here. And we have taken a slight detour. Instead of going straight there, we are first going to visit the Witch Head Nebula. But something exciting came up, and that's why I decided to start recording. Is this one it? Yes. HIP 27395, 22.79 light years away from where I currently am. And if you look at the left hand side, star types. You've got just a regular star, and a black hole, and a neutron star. I have never seen a black hole before. I've never seen a neutron star before. So, in case I die a horrible death by messing up around them, I'm going to record. So, we're going to plot the route, and we're going to go ahead Frameshift drive charging. and head over there. I'm excited. I don't know what to expect. I don't know how close I can get to them without dying. I don't, I don't, I just don't know. So, at least that happens now, not much later on on our way back because now if I die I'll lose two days of data instead of maybe a week or more. I did manage to lose 8% of my hull because I slammed into a planet and I got too close to a sun while rescooping. Yeah, got that going for me. Alright, I don't know where I'm gonna pop up because I think the neutron star might be the biggest mass. Oh, what is this? No, no. Okay. Okay, let's scan the system. Where are you? Here's the normal star. Scanning, scanning. Let's take a look at how's my heat doing? It's all good. System map. Okay. This is a star, there have we have a black hole, and this is apparently a neutron star. So if we look here, it has 1.8 times the mass of the sun, but it's so tiny. So it's got a lot. Oh man, that's that's going to be interesting to look at. Okay, let's see where that... Oh, they're both really, really close. Holy cow. Okay, so I'm guessing that's the black hole. And there's the neutron star, which I thought was going to look a lot cooler. But maybe it will when we get close. But let's check out the black hole for now. Fuel scooping. Yeah, fuel, fuel scoop. scoop. Disengaged. Okay, I'm going to get some distance between us so that I can look at the black hole with the sun behind it. And I can do that. I'm going to do that so that I can see the diffraction, or whatever you call it, that the black hole causes on nearby space. If you're able to see it. Okay, definitely do not want to go too fast, so... That is a bright star, jeez. Okay, might be kind of hard to see in the video, but I am 18 light seconds away from the black hole. How big of a black hole is this anyway? Unexplored. Zero solar masses. Solar mass 3.7 times the mass of the sun. Oh man. Oh boy. So that means we get to be very careful around it, otherwise we die. I don't know how close you can get to them. I'm just going to be very careful. I'm surprised I don't see any effects yet. I'm only five light seconds away from it. Watching my heat too. Well, I don't think black holes produce heat. As far as I know. I 
don't see anything yet. It is scanning the black hole now, so that's positive. Black hole, okay, let's check out the information about this. Black holes are typically the stellar remnants of supermassive stars of 20 solar masses or more that have reached the end of their lives. Nuclear fusion has ceased, and the star collapsed to the most extreme point possible. Where gravity was so extreme, light could no longer escape. It should fall onto such a body. If matter should fall onto such a body, an extreme burst of gamma radiation will be emitted, but otherwise the body is only visible by the gravitational distortion in the vicinity. In many cases, black holes can be seen emitting brightly in x-rays because of matter falling onto their surface from a companion body. Apparently this black hole is 542 million years old. I don't know if that includes the age of the star that came before it. And it orbits this big star in a tenth of a day. Cool. Right, did it say something about a catalog or something? What is that? Star catalog ID. I wonder if that's a real life thing or just something for this game. Let's see. Catalog. H I P P and H D. I'm gonna look that up in a second and see if that's actually something. I doubt it, because this is just a game after all, but I've been surprised before. Okay, let's get even closer. I still don't see any distortion or anything. It's got an impact warning. I don't know if that's because of the main star or the black hole, though. Okay, I doesn't. Maybe if we drop out of Super Cruise. Nope. I mean, it's there, but. It doesn't do anything. Frameshift drive charging. Ready to engage. Don't run or run into it, so. Four, three, two, one, engage. Point thirty four light seconds away. And there is nothing to see. Okay, let's try to get it so that a distant star is behind it. Oh, are we getting the... No? I'm trying to see if there's any visual effect here. You can definitely see that the stars behind it are moving around, so I guess that's the most that you'll be able to see. There's a black hole after all. Light doesn't escape it. We shouldn't be able to see it, but I thought there'd be a little bit more to see. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Was that just the effect? Okay. <laughs> Ooh, I don't want to die, so I am really cautious about this thing, but I guess that's all there is to see. I I don't think there's anything else. Anyway, let's go check out the Frame neutron star. Drive charging. Ready to engage. Receiving additional data, please stand by. Black hole proximity data received. Displaying information now. 
To anyone that gets this message, this is Exploratory Vessel 629. We've come across an unexplored object in the sky. I'm not sure what it is, closing it for investigation. As we're getting closer, it seems that it's warping space and time around it. What could this be? Your scanner has lost the signal. Acquire the signal again. As we get closer, see a slight rise in temperature. We are still at 35, but we are maintaining a steady 34. 36 now. How close can we get to this object before something unspeakable happens? There's severe warping in space time in front of me. If I am not to make it back, please inform those I left behind that it was not for nothing. This is for science. Data failure. Transmission terminated. the neutron star we go. By ne definition, a neutron star is a type of stellar remnant that can result from the gravitational collapse of a massive star after a supernova. Neutron stars are the densest and smallest stars known to exist in the universe with a radius of only 12 to 13 kilometers or around 6 miles. They can have the mass of about two suns. That is the definition the internet gives us. So if I look at the system map once again, you can see that it is 1.8359 times the mass of the sun. So that's pretty on par. Alrighty. Watch my heat, and I watch the gravitational effect. I just want to be careful around new types of space stuff that I haven't been near before. Just dying now really would waste hours and hours of game time, and I'd have nothing to show for it. Impact? Oh, okay, let's slow down though. It is exploring it now. Scanning it, I mean. I want to get closer, come on. Neutron star, okay. We knew that already. I wonder how much money this will get me. Check out the system. 542 million years. Jeez. Surface temperature. Holy cow. Wow. If you like the surface temperature of this, it's 11,500 degrees Kelvin. Which is... It's, it's hot. But this... 1.652 million degrees Kelvin. That's crazy. If I look up real quick. Okay, that's hot. That is really, really hot. But, considering that we're not heating up yet, we should be able to get closer. It looks pretty boring from here. I'm 
Not sure what to expect, guys. We are heating up now. Oh, we are heating up fast. Okay. Let's see where that temperature balances out. Man, that little dot. That's a lot of heat. Okay, that is a tiny, tiny little star. I don't know how big it is. It just says zero solar radius. But it's probably about a dozen kilometers in size. And it produces more than one and a half million degrees Kelvin of heat. I am 0.20 light seconds away from it. And it's already heating up my ship to where I don't feel comfortable going closer to it. So that's pretty cool. That's a new system. If you want to visit this yourself, it is system HIP 27395. And it is located here. You can also search for it, but it is pretty much in between the Witch Head Nebula and Akinar. I wonder how far away my starting zone is from here. And I just 347, 447. This is where I started at World Ridge Terminal. <laughs> 800 light years away. Where are you? There you are. That's where I started. Okay. That was a little insight on what you can expect when you find systems with dangerous bodies within them. Black holes, neutron stars, big normal stars, and it's just a part of the exciting stuff that you can see while exploring in this game. Thank you for watching, I'm sorry it wasn't more impressive I thought it was going to be, but I just wanted to share my first initial thoughts and experiences when it came to these new things. So thank you for watching. Have a great day.